what I assume is going to be the star of the show. It's the beer that I'm the most excited about by far because it is Wookie Jack. This is a favorite of so many beer drinkers. If I'm remembering the story correctly, this came out in about 2012 and they retired it in 2016. I could be completely wrong there. I do know it was retired in 2016 and they brought it back for GABF last year and this won the gold medal for the American Dark Ale category, I think it was. So 2020 GABF Gold Wookie Jack IPA. And I'm assuming that inspired them uh, along with all their fans that were like, we want this beer back. I was one of them. I remember when they retired this, you know, we kind of like all felt felt gutted because uh, this was just such a favorite. Um, and again, back in those days, this beer looked completely different. Uh, it had a lot of that uh, classic uh, Firestone Walker label design. And this is uh, designed, they put a nod to the design around here. Art by El Gran Tokayo. So it's pretty dope artwork. But yeah, nothing like what the original looks like, and I'm all for that. You gotta freshen things up a little bit, right? So we're about to crack open this Wookie Jack. I'm so excited. I am so, 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 so excited. Let's do it. Oh, beauty. So you can see immediately that there's some more clarity to this beer. There's also a distinct darkness in the SRM. We're going kind of up in SRM there where there's just more black, more black. It's got more head to it as well. It's way more active on that head. So yeah, black rye IPA and more roast character on this nose. This is, wow, the head is like fluffy. Yeah, you're just getting like a slight coffee character to it, but it's not over overwhelming at all. We are, are getting a roastiness. You know, it's a pretty mellow nose. It, it does have way more roast character on the nose than anything else. I'm not really picking up hoppiness. There's a bitterness, 100%, but the hop character is really well balanced with the roast. It's not like shining out forward. It's just incredible balance. You know, you're getting some of that like citrus, so like grapefruit, a little bit of orange, and then there's like a really nice chocolate character to it too. A light kind of espresso, almost like the creamy part of the espresso, not like the actual black liquid, but the frothiness that comes on top. Chocolate, coffee, and then just hints of, of bright citrus. I'll say it again and again on this show, on everything that I do basically, balance is the name of the game. This beer really represents balance uh, when you have something as polarizing as a black IPA, as something that combines the biggest aroma and flavor components of two different styles of beer and mashes them together. The balance on this beer is just incredible. Good stuff, man. Wow, Wookie Jack, get your hands on this beer. I mean, that is a world-class beer. And there's a reason why it won Gold at GABF. That is an amazing beer made by amazing brewers. Get your hands on that beer, it's so good.